Congressman Doyle uh, about some of the allegations that some people thought that unions intimidate uh, workers in reference to uh, signing a card or a union. And today's example is going to be set by our next speaker because we're going to accept him as a friend and an old acquaintance, somebody that's been there on a lot of issues for us. And let there be no mistake about it. You know, that's one thing about this American labor movement. We look at candidates not based on the party they come from, but how they really feel about working people. Yeah. What do they stand yeah. up for? Where has there been their voting record? And then over the years, we've had our ups and downs with our inspector, but I have to tell you, on a lot of bread and butter issues to organize laborers in this country, he was there. He was there. Let me tell you, my brother standing here from the United Mine Workers understand how their back was against the wall on their retirees and their pensions and how he stuck his neck out. On trade issues, hit many times with the United Steel Workers, he was the only Republican that stood out and stood up for, for, for workers. On public employees' rights at the faith AFG, government employees, many times he was there. On the appropriations committees, when, it, when they were trying to cut a lot of social programs and women's rights programs, our inspector was there. So I'm not here to sell our inspector to anybody, but I am here to say this Democratic Party, this labor movement has got its door wide open for those who want to be friends of organized labor and have a track record and to be coming here and having a level playing field having a level playing field about this debate. We heard in the committee, and he'll talk to you about his recent discussions on Thursday and Friday of last week. And there's no question, because of you, because of all of you in this room, the pressure, the intensity that you kept up understanding about equal rights and justice for American workers, that pressures with phone calls and letters and, 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 and just getting in, in everybody's face about this issue, I got to tell you, Arlen knows what pressure is, and he understands when there's a little bit of fire under his ass, and you built that fire. You built that fire. There's been a change in America. That's right. A big change in America. It's a new day in America. Woo! This year, 2008, is a historical year for the labor movement and for this country in the election of the majority in the Senate, an election to a great, great humanitarian with Barack Obama as our president. And it came about because of you. We're free again. Americans fighting for many, many years on the streets of blood and sweat in this city where heads have been busted, where 13 international unions convened their convention. Pittsburgh, the home of the AFL. It's the home of the CIO. It's the home of the AFL-CIO. And it's the home of America's labor movement. And that's why we're here today. And I'm honored, really honored, to have the senior, senior senator the senior senator from the state of Pennsylvania that's 29 years in the Senate, come join us today. Yeah.